Hi, welcome back. Another important thing which uh, you must know about SD billing as well as your accounting entries in SAP SD. Let's try to have a look around that. What is the topic today? Accounting document logics, SD billing and accounting and clearing and understanding in SAP ECC. So this session is very important to know. I think uh, you better aware of this. These are the only two tables, VBR and VBRP. And your accounting document is exactly the bridge between your SD billing as well as FISI settlement and posting and clearing. So what exactly links between your SD billing and this one? Your FIC interface. That's where you are getting errors. So, okay. So let's try to have a look around that other side today. Okay. So before getting into the actual topic, if you're not that subscribed, please subscribe my YouTube channel to get more tips like this. Okay. If you look, if you have a look around here, this is by sales and distribution, which is around 102 hours for SAP, SAP SD ECC. If you're not in, introduced to S4 honey, you better try this. That's what I'm telling. Okay. SD complete pricing concepts. Pricing, I have done a lot of efforts to get into this course at, uh, you know, maturity level, I'm holding around 1,000 plus students. If you're an SD consultant, if you have or else MM, fortunately or unfortunately, if you're in SD, okay, if you really wanted to get the uh, power to learn, you try this course. And if you're already done with your courses at institution level, if you wanted to get that real-time depth before working, don't waste your money with any other real time consultant. You try this course. This course is available in, uh, when uh, offer is on hold for four ninety nine or five fifty max. You can try getting master to write functional specification. Stock transfers and intercompany sales. Okay, stock transfers. I have done ECS and Desper, and if you want, you can try some courses on SD. But try this course if you, if you want to get the standard depth on S four and screens for pricing actually, okay. Let's uh, get into the one more important course for SDMM folks. So this is for IDOCs. This is one of the top course at my end. You can able to give it, right? That's where you can able to learn. So it's like, you know, knowledge portion for sales and distribution for S4 and I'm trying to add a few more topics in future. I'm just trying to get ready with my S4 HANA course. Uh, maybe in future, probably like, you know, before coming to 20, to 20, 24 March, actually, I'm just preparing. So just wait for that. So to learn more tips, we better get into my channel. Okay. The first table is BKPF. This is accounting document header. I will show you what exactly it is. So before going to BKPF, let me show you the complete cycle. Okay. So let me get into this. Session got expired. Let me reopen again SAP. So let's go to sales order first. And after that, uh, we'll create a delivery and billing. So let's get into this. Let's save this. Uh, let's go to VL zero one M. Okay, no issues. Let's try to make the dates right away. So probably you can able to see this our SD billing document and accounting document. Okay. Now let me try to, uh, so this is reference document is your billing document. Okay. This accounting document is, uh, which actually we would like to post our values to accounting actually. You can see this. Okay. Now go to slash and SC69. Okay. Just give BKPF. Here you can able to see this. This is the company code. If you want, to, you can able to give key fields. So let me try to give the 
accounting document probably you can able to give the financial year if you know so suppose if you have a historic data or else multiple documents uh, with reference to accounting document you would like to find what are all the billing documents because certain cases in support you will get issues you may have to get into this table and probably you have to pull the logic based on accounting document certain details here if you can see this there is something called with posting date see all these are not key key fields actually probably like you know if you give key field and posting date so you can able to pull the information back but otherwise if you don't use key fields this table is very slow sometimes if you are trying with any non key field it is trying to give a dump actually not like your bbrk bbrp it is very slow table actually accounting side okay so so if you can able to see this uh, let me try to run this one reference is xbl and not this is your accounting document okay let's run this i will show you so let me try to if you look at here this is a accounting document see rv this is what you have assigned your fv so in real time certain times they will create their own kind of uh, accounting document from fi side that we are going to use it depends on the scenario where we are going to do that you can see accounting document posting date and this is your posting period of this month okay translation date you can see this with respect to which transaction actually we generated this accounting document vf02 okay so like this reference document is our billing document okay this is how you can able to find the information so according to our needs okay so this is bkpf this is very very important you have to remember that apart from that let me try to show you okay uh, what is this uh, one second so probably one second let me try to check go back to the slide i'm sorry Today, somehow some disturbance is happening. No problem. So BSEC is one of the key table. Okay. Let's try to get into BSEC now. Okay. So let's give your uh, what is the advantage with this? I will show you. So now you have entered this one. Let's execute this. What BSEC is going to do. So now you see these three entries are there in your accounting document. Okay. If you way back, let me show you this one. You can able to see this accounting document. You can able to see these are the item number 1020 and with your posting keys, you can able to find the actual details. That is, you can say that BKPF is header. So you have a posting keys. You can see this accounting type. What is this is these for customer. That's probably GL account. This is for revenue. Okay. So business area and your transaction. Let's try to understand a little more. So the value. Okay, for revenue, what we, you have to be posted. Okay, you got it. This one, Jagdish, you tell me how about the tax? I'll tell you, don't worry. We're going to learn one by one, okay? So now you got BSEC, header and item with the details. Be sad, what is this? This is the surprise thing. I never discussed it in my previous videos, okay? Whatever the knowledge I have, I'll just try to, you know, add in my Udemy courses. You'll learn and enjoy your job. So now you can see this B sad. Okay. Here, I cannot able to give my document because which is not clear. You can see this secondary index for customers. Whenever document, they are using FP70, F-28, these are the transaction for clearing. You need not learn all these things. That is for Pico side. Don't worry, in future, uh, if I have time, if I learn, I'll let you know, because I'm not that much perfect in FSEO SD, um, you know, is my favorite charm. So let's get into here. 
Here, if you see this, uh, you can able to find your customer and your clearing date and clearing document, assignment number. So this document number, okay? Most of the times you can able to find your document number here, okay? Probably we do one thing, uh, we take this document number. Let's go to SC16N. So I'm not cleared my document, I cannot able to show you. Let's try to, let's put it in Bellner. Other way around, you can see Bellner is your accounting document number. So you can able to find your clearing document number. This is accounting document number again is that what are the clearing documents you have. That means settlement number, settlement thing. So here, if you see, you can able to find how much amount which is got cleared and your tax, okay? And your currency and what kind of document, DR, this is accounting document type, DR, DP, DZ, different kind of documents will be there, okay? So this is about BSAT actually, BSAT. So these tables are especially useful if you try to bring any custom logic. If you would like to bring any custom logic, such a case, these tables are very, very important. Need not, see, if you remember, if you don't remember, if you Google it, it doesn't matter. You can uh, try to understand these tables, okay? B set. This is, I have only done one video, but still like, I can able to show you what exactly this B set is all about, okay? So I always tell you one thing, this knowledge, this knowledge or any knowledge, if you transfer, if you teach and if you give to somebody, it is helpful to you. If you hide within yourself, it is useful till your job. You are not helping to future generations. Okay. Be positive and transfer my videos and transfer my knowledge so that, you know, it will be helpful to others. So you will get blessings actually. You will get a job. You know, I am having job. So... My story is different and uh, before getting into the job, you learn all these things and uh, try to help each other. You are getting your salary, obviously, the upper end also, he will get his own salary, right? Let's put this document number. You will get tax details, actually. You can able to see this is uh, what we have done, okay? IGST condition type. You can able to see the tax amount. Okay, this is tax base on which it is got calculated. This is the tax GL account where you have to be posted. And this is the percentage. Okay, of course, this is naming convention. Actually, it's 14 percentage and business place. Okay, in the similar way, you can able to find it in MWST. Okay, if you like this video, please share. If you wanted to get more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, one step away, whatever you want it. I wish you all the best. Have a great day. For not yet subscribed, you can subscribe to my Udemy courses. If you are from SD side, if you would like to learn IDOCs, this is the place where need not ask anybody. This is the one place solution for especially SD consultants. And this is for transportation basics. If you would like to learn, if you'd like to cover one or two interview questions, you can able to cover here. So this is a place where you can able to show that if you, if, you, if you are trying jobs and experience, you better know this. Okay, one outbound and five scenarios I have explained. It's not like uh, your regular YouTube videos. Okay, and rebates, if you have doubts, you can try and FSCM, a lot many, whatever I know, I'll try to transfer. So thank you so much. I wish you all the best. What more important to say, being an Indian, Jay Bharat. And very great time in your life. I wish you all the best, all the best, all the best. Enjoy your time.